when you're mixing. If you're going to sit in a chair, it better not have arms. Everyone usually asks, what's the wisest piece of advice or what's the most bullshit piece of advice you've ever received? But what is the second wisest piece of advice that you've received that has stuck with you in your career? The second wisest piece? I mean, there's lots of advice. I don't, very bad at ranking things because uh, there's so many different things. I can just tell you one piece of advice that has really stuck with me. Do you want me to speak something very technical thing that I have now just done? Or do you want me to talk about like a more like general, like bring this along with you, Skywalker, you know, the very simple technical thing I studied with sound master craftsman, Bern Hayden. And he said, when you're mixing, if you're going to sit in a chair, it better not have arms. Don't slouch, you know. Your body, you, your posture, alert mind, alert body, better mix. And he would always mix standing up. And subsequently, I always mix standing up. I think it served me incredibly well. Because if I didn't mix standing up, sometimes I might just fall asleep in my chair, just to be honest. But two, it keeps me alert. It keeps my body there. It keeps my mind sharp. And I'm really grateful that he gave me that advice. I hadn't ever seen anybody do or say that before it served me incredibly well in terms of like how to be a person advice 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 shut your mouth <laughs> i always say what i feel i stick my foot in my mouth sometimes shut your mouth if you don't know the person and you're not sure how they're going to receive it don't be too familiar too fast because when i am i have accidentally and unfortunately you know really upset people because they didn't understand who i was or what my intention was and when i said something they only saw it on face value and only had the other people they had encountered before to weigh it with i hurt some feelings and i angered some people and i creeped out some people by just not thinking about what i'm saying it could be something as simple as wow I really like that dress you're wearing. My grandma used to have a dress like that. You know that my grandma is very important to me, but to someone who doesn't know my grandmother, I really offended somebody when I said that. It took me a while to realize, oh, they must really not like their grandmother or they don't like the association with being old. As a Chinese person, you respect and you revere age. To say, hey, you're on the same plane as my ancestor, my grandmother, that's a compliment. To an American, we do not respect our elders. We don't revere age. We think it's like some sort of weakness or something or something that's cheesy or our older generations did such a good job mucking up things for everybody. Totally different cultural thing to say, you remind me of my grandmother, depending on which culture you are. I said this to somebody who is American. I was coming at it from a place of earnestness, but I really offended them. They were very upset. So I've learned before you know who somebody is and how they'll take something, maybe just don't even go there and don't say more than is necessary. Yeah, keep it simple.